The first video reply I did to this must have been too controversial because all of a sudden it said wrong video format and the video was gone. I'm going to see if I can repeat what I said with the same thrust and velocity without breaking the law in which I want to speak upon. Since that video disappeared mysteriously, I'm going to assume somebody janked it. And if it got janked because of the words I said, then I have to see if it's true what I said by repeating the best I can what I said. Now, HR 1955. Tom, the American people will not allow their rights to be stripped away from them. They will be protesting in the streets to battle this law. That's what I said in the first video. The American people will not allow this bill to actually be placed in effect because we are told throughout our lives to protest when you believe that there's something wrong. We've been encouraged throughout our lives to protest when there's something wrong. Now, when you get your protest on, depending upon what you say, your rights can and will be taken away because you no longer will have the right to assemble for change. Trying to change or alter the government in any way, shape, or form will be considered terrorist. Ah, right. check it out yourself. You, your free thought itself is in question. You know, to erase the Bill of Rights is basically to erase Americans. Without the Bill of Rights, we are nothing. Now, do you understand the significance of this? If your kid gets an argument at school and your parents march down there, you treat Billy right! That's a threat. It's a terrorist threat. She's threatening someone. If you don't teach my son right, anything can be interpreted as terrorist based upon someone else's opinion. You know how people treat regular people. What are their opinions? Not the same as ours. What are their strengths? Every strength we don't have. The power of money. A group of people's opinions will be placed upon you. And you can't have your own opinion. Because if you begin to have a voice or a structure or a following somewhat, you are considered terrorist. So, from what I learned about this law, because at the end of the video it tells you where to go look at a video, what I learned is Martin Luther King, under this law, would be considered a terrorist. Malcolm X, under this law, would be considered a terrorist. Cesar Chavez, under this law, would be considered a terrorist. Barack Obama, under this law, based on what he said, or what he says, would be considered a terrorist. John McCain, terrorist. Hillary Clinton, terrorist. You, terrorist. Me, someone telling you that when you speak out against our country from now on out through the end of time it will be considered a terrorist threat like our country does nothing for its people terrorists the whole Katrina thing our country could have did more terrorists we have these anti-terror bills <coughs> we have given up our last right May whatever God you have bless us. May whatever powers that be that we are waiting for to save us, save us. Because if it happens, 
like I see it's about to happen, may something come save us. People will be falling dead in the streets. And if you complain about it, the police take too long to get here. Terrorists. You're not treating me right, terrorist. I demand my rights, terrorist. What am I locked up here for? Terrorist. Don't speak. Well, watch the video he talks about. He does all this fancy stuff on these on these videos, links and everything. I can't do all that. But I wish I had the power to. Hopefully this video is less shocking as the other one I did because the other one was shorter you couldn't see my face they're probably doing some voice analyst thing on it you know down at the pentagon we have to find him terrorist the day when freedom of speech is taken away from the American people has already happened watch what you say America it will be misconstrued taken out of context and the reason for you to vanish off the face of the earth. Hold on, I hear something. Ah, hurt my leg in a basketball game. We flipped to the window. Okay, I gotta go. There's a bunch of black cars pulling up in front of the house. I gotta get the hell out of here.